Okay, we are here with a should you summon and we're here with the ultra super Vegeta banner um, The game was in maintenance, but obviously I'm I've been sleep um, I should really wake up earlier, but I'm British so it's like 7 a.m. When resets happen, but there was meant to be a maintenance for longer, but whatever cool um, We got the ultra super Vegeta banner and obviously people are gonna be curious on whether they should summon but there's a lot going on right now because um not that there is just the Ultra Super Vegeta banner, but I want to just point out the fact that there's also these two banners and these two banners relating to the fact that the Zenkais that are available in summons in-game usually, usually relate to what character that we're getting. So these two characters are specifically movie units, but they're also specifically fusion units. Now... It's looking real interesting, and I'm thinking if you're going to summon, you're going to miss out on something. Ultra Super Vegito is insanely valuable, and I'm not I'm not telling you that he isn't worth it. However, I'm saying that for the time being, he disappears in five days. That's before the reveals. Um, today is the 12th of October at the time of making this video. If you add five, that's 17. You won't have enough time to see what the reveal is unless it gets leaked. In this case that could be valuable for you um outside of that phew, i'm not really seeing any value in ultra super video right now because really and truly his main value is the fact that he takes out purples he can go type neutral but all of that is really most effective when he's type advantage um or like more dominant in the meta with all these reds he doesn't stand out as much so i don't see the value in him right now however his banner isn't that bad like if we look at it ultra super geo is insanely insanely valuable i'm not denying that but then if we look at the other two units other few units kid boo you don't really want him mv you can make use of him vb is a good fusion unit to have if you don't have ultra super go gr super geo here if you get him to 14 stars, you can get the HP buff, but everything else is pretty bad. Your odds of getting a good unit on the banner, uh, there's 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 LFs, 5 units you want on the banner, 1 Ultra, 4 LFs on the banner, 1 Ultra, and probably only don't want Kid Boo if you're something on his banner because you're mainly trying to build a fusion team, but MV could have some use just because he's a Saiyan. Leader slot, maybe, I don't know. Um, you can get some value out of this banner, but... If you were going to summon on this banner, you might have been better off doing the Ultra, uh, the, the Z Power banner. And I know I'm an idiot for not posting a video of that Z Power banner. My bad, guys. But the main advice I want to give is that you shouldn't summon. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. And that's me coming from somebody using a 14 star USB. So just, just to show you that this is not coming from just anybody, right? Um, if you know me on stream, um, I use Fusions as my main team. I've literally got it maxed out to the brim. And I'm not saying that Fusion is a bad team in any way, shape, or form. But I'm saying that if we're going to be getting something, the next best, best thing could be releasing. And you don't want to be using your Corona Crystal so freely when you could take advantage of a new Fusion Warrior that's coming. Especially because I just said that we're getting these these two Zenkais are here. They're both Sargas units. They're both also uh, Fusion units. So it seems very likely we're going to be getting something Fusion related. It might just be a Gold Tanks. I'm not even going to lie. Um, that might just be a bummer for some people. Uh, but again, in this case, um, I'm not denying, I never, I've never once denied the advantages of uh, leaks. So I'll just bring them up to say that for some of you guys that do like leaks, because even in the video that I made before, it's down to your opinion just because I don't want to get spoiled for a reveal. Um, that doesn't mean you don't have to. So if you want to wait till like the last day of the banner, like I said, the thing's here for five days. So on the 17th, if you see that there's a leak or whatever, um, for me, I don't, I'm, I'm going to try duck it. Uh, not like that's possible. But if you see there's a leak or whatever, um, definitely, definitely decide based on that more than anything. But again, if it's a fusion unit you're looking for, you don't know if the new one is going to be more busted just because you know what it is. There's so many things around it. 
and I'm not saying just to summon because you know what's coming next because it could literally be the same tag that you need or want. You're just now in two ways about it because you know what character it is. That's just me putting it out like that. So just that having the leak on its own will not really save you in particular unless it's a completely irrelevant tag to you. Um, other things, Pan is looking pretty decent. Um, they have these like announcements here. Uh, data mine type stuff. Um, it's not too bad. I hope none of you guys summon on the Z Power Banner. That's not too bad as well. Pan's not looking bad, supposedly. Um, but yeah, really and truly, I know that uh, the banner's like guaranteed sparking every single time. Uh, it says here, sparking rates will higher, guaranteed 1 out of 10 drops. So you get at least 1 sparking every single multi, but that's still not worth it. There's also, um, there's also less steps. You get these tickets. The tickets are terrible, man. Like, they need to give at least more of those. At least 20, man. 10? I hear it. 20, like, 10, 10 is pretty low. I think that's them being pretty cheap, in my opinion. Um, but, yeah, that's just, that's just my take. Um, this shop is terrible. It needs to update. Um, you can get, like, a base of characters, but all these characters are pretty much outdated. So, I wouldn't even hype them up or gas them up. Uh, so, yeah, they should give at least 20 of these. The rates are terrible. So many people get shafted on ultra banners. And you should learn from the people that summon from Broly, the Broly banner. Not to say that just because they got shafted, you will get shafted too. It's really all RNG and you could be the luckiest person in the world. So I'm not saying you shouldn't summon just because other people uh, summoned and got bad summons. But again, there's so much value in the near future with the festival. It's just a blatant bait. For, for how recent ultra super video came out the fact that they're bringing him back they're really trying to reel you guys in reel you guys in straight away so you can summon again and i would not advise summoning simply because the festival is gonna bring a lot of new stuff and you're gonna really want to be involved especially with the boost system as well if you care about pvp i don't know if pvp is up is it gonna be up all right nice pvp is up um if you care about pvp uh the boost characters any new character is just going to be real OP, and you can see they only put the new characters in the bo in the featured boost, which is the case. That's what it's about. And you see how um, Super Seventeen looks decent, even though he's not really going to have any longevity. Broly looks way better than he is because he's in the boost right now. Trunks is hanging in there. MV is doing a little bit, and you just see how Cooler is just sweeping up the competition, man. He's just sweeping up everybody. But yeah, I'm pretty much rambling at this point. Um, I want to say good luck with saving. I don't want to encourage any summoning, um, but I just want to give out all the options. We're still looking forward to what the big announcement is, uh, if it's not just a unit, if it's something else. So keep an eye out for that. Um, pretty much just looking at this. Um, good luck with saving. Don't summon, please. But it's up to you. It's your account. People telling people moving like I'm their mother or something, like I'm your father or something, like I'm telling you what you have to do. I'm not telling you what you have to do. I'm just giving you the best advice, especially if you're free to play, to not summon because you'd be draining your corona crystals. Appreciate you guys for watching. I'm gonna leave it like that. My name is Akashi guys. I'll see you guys in the next one, man.